Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Redskins with the football and the lead as we start the fourth. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Cousins now on second down. Flushed out right. Right side caught by Jackson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Fresh set of downs here. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Cousins now. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. And now a fumble. The ball's out. A gain of six there on first. Second down and four. Second down, Cousins. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Jordan Reed was the intended target. And it's third and four. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jarrell Freeman. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Throwing now, Cutler on first down. And Miller with it over the middle. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. There's a complete to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Oh, no, he lost the football. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know one thing, the team that had the ball and was driving, they're going to feel horrible. But the team that was on defense, I think we got to give them a little bit of credit, able to hang in there and force a key turnover. In the red zone, though, had a chance to tie it and an opportunity missed. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Right. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they've missed a golden opportunity. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. On third down, Cousins. And that will be incomplete as well. 
They tried to make something happen, but that one came up incomplete and really wasn't a good-looking throw. Yeah, maybe even go as far as to call that a little ill-advised. Yeah, I would say so. I think that's the right phrase for it. Definitely ill-advised. Just wonder about his mechanics right now, you know, and that's the tough part. You do so much stuff in practice to make it repetitive, but it has to repeat under pressure, whether it's pressure from the defense or just the pressure playing the game. The Bears' offense now gets set to head back onto the field, and they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field and to come away with nothing. That's difficult for a team to handle. And yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. <laughs> on second down, here's Cutler. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. On first down, it's Cutler. Quick hitter here, it's complete. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. They go play action now. Cutler. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Eddie Royal is intended target. And it's third and four. And the defense lines up looking for one final stop. And they will be playing for the pass in this situation. Not expecting any type of a run. The throw again is Cutler. The catch made by Miller. And he's going to get to the 31. Enough for the first down. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. Now Cutler on first down. On the right side, this is Miller. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He's back to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. He'll look to throw, and it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Illegal block in the ball. Offense. Still second Offensive mistake pushes him back. Now it's second and a little bit longer. Back to throw. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. So he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. Give him two yards on that play. And they're going to face a third down. Looking to speed things up here. Going with some tempo. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. No gain at all on the play there. And that brings up four. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. They'll look to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. 
Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27th. So out now come the Redskins. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have other play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. So just about a minute to go here, tie ball game. As fans, we right, love free football. Six, but the guys six, in the field don't. Go. They're going to attack and go for the win right now. They run with it. It's Kelly. They juked him. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here's Cousins. Escaping the pressure right. Complete to the right. This is Garcon. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? They, uh, they, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. They'll hand it off to Kelly. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. They'll go again with Kelly. Oh, look at the juke. And he's going to take this one down to the 25. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll try to run for it with Kelly. Fighting through. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective... And now the Bears are going to signal for another timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And this one is right through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So the home crowd here loves it. They get the field goal in the closing moments, and it looks like their guys are going to get out of here with the W. And when that kick left his foot, you could hear a pin drop in here. There were about 70,000 folks with cross fingers. And when that ball went through, start the celebration. We're following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Well, this one, partner, was fun down to the very end. They got the points late right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won <laughs> and fun for us because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur at the end. But what a game all the way through. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL.